In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, we're going back to basics. Hello, I'm Carl Pauline and in this week's episode of Working with Evernote, we're going back to basics with notebooks. What I want to do in this episode is show you how to set up a basic notebook and notebook structure and I also want to show you how to get your Evernote email, your personal Evernote email so you can email your notes directly into Evernote. Now this is crucial when you're setting up Evernote and I know that this episode is going to be a little bit basic for you guys who are quite seasoned with Evernote. You do already know how to set up notebooks of course but I really feel that a lot of people do get a little bit confused. They're not sure what kind of notebooks to set up and what I want to do in this episode is take you right back to the basics of setting up notebooks. I know over time you will expand the notebooks that you have. It's inevitable. One of the things that I'm not going to feature today is the project stack. I'm going to bring those into a more a, a later episode because stacks to me are a bit more of an advanced feature and I really want to focus on the basics today. So the basics today is really all about setting up the basic notebook structure and how I would suggest you name your notebooks and why. And that's really all I want to cover today. So today's going to be a pretty basic episode, but hopefully for you newbies out there, you guys new to Evernote, then this will really help you get set up to get started with Evernote, which is, let's be honest, one of the best note-taking applications out there. And if you want to go paperless, which I strongly recommend because it does make life so much easier, certainly when you want to find something later, then this is one of the best structures that you can set up. So for those of you guys who've used Evernote for a while now, you may find this episode a little bit basic, but for you newbies out there, this should help you set up at least the basic structure of Evernote and then get you on your way. The other one more thing I should point out is, because I wanted to show you the really basic start of this, I'm showing you Evernote from the web, which is a different, a slightly different interface from the application itself. One day, I'm sure Evernote will catch up with their applications and get this same UI interface. But the way you set these things up are exactly the same. It just looks a little bit different. That's all you need to remember. In later episodes of this Back to Basic series, I will show you the application and I'll put it all together for you so you can see it. But for now, I just want to get you into the basics of setting up the notebooks. So without further ado, actually, yes, before we further ado, we will give you one more further ado. By the way, if you do like this video, please like click the like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe because these videos are going to be coming out every week now for the next five or six weeks. Okay let's get into Evernote and I'll show you how to set up the basic structure of your notebooks. Okay so here we are in the web version of Evernote and for me it's really important to show you this way. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off in the notebooks view. Now the first thing I'm going to recommend that you do when you start with Evernote is that you create a notebook called 00, zero and then inbox. The reason why I want you to create it as 00, zero is because that means this notebook will always be at the top of your notebook list and your inbox is the place where you need to make sure that all your notes go to. So essentially what you're looking for is to make sure that all your notes go into your inbox. So this is the first one to do. Now the next thing I would do is I would create, if you're just starting out with Evernote or if you want to get your Evernote reorganized, then the next thing I'm going to suggest you do is you create a new notebook and you're going to call this one zero, uh, zero 001 and then you can call it personal or work. I'm going to call mine work and I always create my notebooks in capitalized words. Now this is entirely up to you. It's just my personal preference. So I'm going to create that notebook. 
So now you'll see that if I click on my notebooks, I've now got two and work comes in there, even though it begins with W. Obviously, you're not going to see this reason why you use the numbers. The next one I'm going to create is 02, and then I'm going to create that one personal. Uh -huh. I can never spell personal. There we go. Personal. And so go back into notebook. So even though W comes before P in the alpha, sorry, P becomes before W in the alphabet, um, because I'm using the numerical system here, I've got one and two. So that means that this is coming up into my um <clears throat> in my list in the order that i want to see it of course if you want your personal notebook first before your work notebook that's fine then you can just change the numbers around there is um you can create another one called someday maybe if you wish and you can create other ones like projects and so on but for now i just want to show you how to set those up so essentially you've got uh, three basic notebooks that you would set up now, the reason why you want your inbox is because the inbox is where you are collecting all your stuff so that when you process at the end of the day, so let's say I've got one here, why open offices are bad for us. And let's say that you're doing a project at work that you want, you want to change the way your office is laid out. Well, all I have to do then is from my inbox, when I process my inbox, I can click on the down, I can add that to my work, and then I can add a tag, and we're gonna do tags in another episode, and as you can see, it's gone. I've got one here, blog, this article first, but this is a blog that I wrote. Um, so it's a blog post, let's say it's a personal blog, so I'm just gonna add that, I'm gonna move that to my personal. It's really quick, actually from the website, it is very, very quick. So now I have nothing in my inbox, it's nicely processed, I've got my work and I've got my personal. Now, how do you designate your notebook, a, a notebook as, how do you designate the inbox as your default, as they call it in Evernote speak, default notebook? Well, if we go into work, I'm gonna click on the control, that's gonna give me, so I go into work, what I can do is go into my settings of this up here, this is from the web, you go into your settings, and it will say here, set as default notebook. That is what you want to do if you want to create that where all the notes go into. Obviously, I don't want to do that uh, because my inbox is my default notebook. So if I click on that, go into information, um, this is set up. I don't need to do anything because it's already set up. But as soon as I change it to another one, it would ask me if I want to set this up as my default notebook. This is crucial. So go again into here. If I change my, set this as my default notebook, save. So now it will ask me if I want to set this as my default notebook, which I do. So I'm going to send that back and I've set that up now as my default notebook. So that's essentially the first steps you need to take when you're setting up Evernote from fresh. Also, for those of you guys who've been using Evernote for a while and you want to just get your Evernote organized, then this is the way I would strongly recommend that you set up your notebooks. Now, I know I'm using the web view. Most of you, I would strongly recommend that you actually use the um, application itself. But the thing is, my, note, my Evernote has got thousands of notes in it and so many notebooks and it would just get confusing for this back to basic series. So I want to show you in the web view. So those of you guys who are skipping along, remember this is the web view. This is not necessarily the way that you will see it when you do the actual application version of Evernote, which I will show you in a later episode. One final thing on notebooks before we crack on. Uh, what you need to do is to set up your inbox email. Even if you have the basic free account, you strongly need, I strongly recommend that you get the, uh, your personal Evernote email address and get it saved into your contacts list. So to do that, go into your account, which is at the bottom. But obviously if you're using the application version, that's gonna be in your file up at the top up here somewhere. But for the web version, you're going to account settings, Settings is going to tell you all the basic things. So I've got the basic, I am here uh, because this is just my demo account. But down here, email notes tool. 
and it will go there so you just email all your notes and this will go into your default notebook so if you set up your default notebook as your inbox which i so so strongly recommend that means that all the notes that you email directly to your evernote are going to go into your inbox so you can process them later and that's something that I strongly, strongly recommend that you do because if you don't do it that way, uh, you're going to have notes all over the place. And also, if you find something that you really want to keep for later, you're just not going to have a way of sending it over to Evernote. So that's something that I really, really wanted to get you into to make sure you do that. So just to refresh what we've done today, we've got... Uh, we're looking at the notebooks because I think that's the most important place to start. You set up your inbox. Now, when you open up Evernote for the first time, it's going to have, uh, a, I don't know what it's going to call it, but you need to create it as 00, zero inbox because you want to have uh, that system set up. Um, so the information, you can click on there. I actually want to change that because I want it to be capitalization. So inbox. So you can simply do that. Save. So it's now set up as 00, zero inbox. You want to set up a notebook for work and you want to set up a notebook for personal. 00, zero for inbox, zero 01 for work or personal, depends on your preference, and you set it up like that. In the next episode, I will go into a little bit more detail on notebooks on terms of like how you stack them because you can actually stack notebooks, but I want to show that in a later episode. This is just for beginners setting it up. So if you want to get your ever know organize this is the first way i strongly recommend we'll go into projects and things later in another episode okay hopefully this has got you started have a play around with your notebooks and i will show you some of the more advanced things that we can do in later episodes of notebooks okay so i just remains for me now to wish you all an incredibly productive week <laughs>